uh, if you are not remembering that well uh, i think i have uploaded it in uh, in the in youtube special uh, category of our teaching so please make sure that you go and see that and it will bless your heart and life john chapter 16 and uh, verse uh, uh john chapter 16 and verse 26 uh is the first key in a successful prayer life in that day you will ask in my name uh, i am reading from the niv and hope you have your bibles with you just try taking that and and let's let's have a wonderful time uh john chapter 16 and verse 26 says in that day you will ask in my name I am not saying that I will ask the Father on your behalf. No, the Father Himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving in the world, and I am going back to the Father. Well, that is uh, about the. Uh, he is talking about the ascension which he is going to have. But verse twenty three and twenty four of John sixteen is very important. In that day, you will no longer ask me anything. I tell you the truth my father will give you whatever you ask in my name until now you have not asked for anything in my name ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete so it's a powerful promise which our blessed lord is giving us here until now you have not asked for anything in my name ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete number 1 uh aspect of prayer is asking in his name asking in the name of the son asking in the name of the son to the father we cannot have any other name we have no other mediator well many people say we need mediators uh to approach god but how wonderful it is to understand that we need, we have only one mediator and that mediator is the is is the man Jesus Christ of Nazareth he is our mediator uh you can have a note of that asking in the name of Jesus thanks david for writing that asking in the name of the lord jesus uh that is and, and the father will gives us because he is our mediator there is no other mediator other than our lord jesus uh and 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 uh hallelujah so uh you needn't ask any other uh, in in government offices if you go there will be mediators for because they are there they are they are function they they are uh, even the a sweeper in a government office has his own recommendation so if you go to a uh, government office they will also uh, you know uh, treat us and ask their portion of bribe and all those things but it's very important to understand that there is only one mediator one mediator and there it's not the father of jesus or the mother of jesus it's jesus himself who is our mediator so first timothy chapter 2 and verse 5 says for there is one god and one mediator between god and men the man christ jesus who gave himself as a ransom for all men the testimony given in its proper time so he is our mediator jesus is our mediator and uh, it's very important that we we go to jesus and we ask the father in his name uh, and 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 jesus says ask anything in my name thus far you did not ask anything in my name now you ask and your joy will be complete your joy will be full so it's very important that we ask in the name of jesus uh, john 16 23 24 asking in the name of Jesus second important issue uh, when we approach god is we should have we should pray the prayer of faith without faith it is impossible to please god faith is important faith cometh by hearing and hearing god's word without hearing god's word faith is not produced without hearing god's word uh, the uh, faith faith cannot uh, come in our lives so we need to pray the prayer of faith we read in james chapter 5 uh, 
that uh, uh, let's come to James, James chapter 5 and uh, and verse uh, 15, James 5 and verse 15. <clears throat> So in this there are three uh, two uh, two important things there James 5:15 and uh, uh, and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well how wonderful it is to understand that prayer of faith can make the sick person well now sickness it 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 comes it can come in the body of Christ maybe through many uh, issues now uh, there are some sicknesses that are because of the climatic changes and you know all those things uh, in this context let me tell you eat a whole a healthy diet with uh, some people eat only non-veg and they're not getting any vitamins inside and they are destroying their body so it's important that we have a healthy diet a wholesome diet uh, in these days when everything and every everything anything and everything is adulterated by multinational food corporations it's very important that we learn to eat good food uh, at the right time some people eat breakfast during lunch time and some people eat dinner during the breakfast time uh, the 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 the, <laughs> the the season itself they change and the body god has created uh, to accept food in its own level so it's important that you take care of your health and eat whole uh, whole diet some people do not eat fruits at all. Without eating fruits, how can you expect, uh, you know, the healing of God? Because uh, fruits are very important in the in the context of the Bible. Also, fruits. Jesus came to search for a fig fruit, and the fruit was not there, and uh, he had to leave. So, make sure that you eat well, eat at the right time, and also take care of your health, uh, as because it's the temple of the Almighty God. Don't eat too much. Don't eat less. Sometimes have good times of fasting and prayer also, so that that, that helps uh, in your relationship with God and His healing comes. Communion uh, is very important for the healing of God in your family. Uh, because the Bible says if you are taking the communion unworthily, you are guilty of the body of Christ and the blood of Christ. And what happens is many become sick, many tend to become sick. Uh, some uh, diseases are found because of lack of cleanliness cleanliness uh, you know in your home as much as possible keep it clean and tidy uh, things messed up here and there is a good breeding ground for diseases some people just like to lie down and sleep they do not like to clean and, 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 and make a good environment uh, you know your place should be clean <laughs> otherwise uh, it will be a breeding ground for for, for sicknesses. So uh, it's very important that you keep your environment clean. Uh, one another important thing is tithing. Tithing is very important. Uh, the Bible says in Malachi chapter 3, well, it's a favorite verse for many preachers, and I seldom use it. Sometimes I tell because it's very important that you give to the Lord. When you give to the Lord the sacred portion of your income, the first thing you do. The healing presence of God is in your house. I, I firmly believe that. I, I firmly, with all my heart, believe when we give to the work of God and especially separate the tithe, the, the one-tenth or more than that, whatever, give joyfully. That in, in, in New Testament time, I feel, you know, more than the tithe you have to give. You have to be more righteous, not like how uh, the law was prescribed when the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside our heart, we become more righteous. It's not the righteousness based on the law, but because God lives in us, we come to a greater level of righteousness. And we should not talk about falling into sin and falling into grace and all those things. We have to, because the Spirit of God lives inside of us, we become more righteous than, than the patriarchs in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the Old Testament. So, uh, make sure that you give to the Lord. You hear God's word. Hearing of God's word is health to your bones. Well, I will once again tell all these things uh, later. But I, I hope you, you, uh, you heard all these things. The ways for uh, keeping your healing. Eat a wholesome diet. Keep your surroundings clean. Have a balanced, uh, uh, you know, uh, and wine um, uh, diet in your body, uh, and also. Uh, 
eat at the right times, right things, discipline life, tithing, a lifestyle, communion helps, aids in healing. And if there is also a possibility that because of sins, sickness can enter. And that's what we read here in James 5 and verse 15. Prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Verse 16 says, there was, therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other that you may be healed. So when there is a sinful lifestyle, sickness can happen. Sickness can come. These days when, uh, you know, husbands and wives, they quarrel among one another. They don't confess their faults to one another. What happens? Sickness comes in. So it's very important that we confess our faults to one another, uh, not to any third person. You confess your sins to the Lord. But before that, you have to reconcile with God and man. And reconciliation is very important in keeping your life healed. So uh, uh, the prayer of faith will a uh, prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well and the third thing is very important thing is confession of sins or or i would say the prayer of a righteous man righteous man uh, uh, prayer of a righteous man um, for god to hear all right so number one is ask in the name of jesus second prayer offered up in faith third prayers of a righteous man uh, this will give you uh, a, a small uh, uh, small what do you say prayers of a righteous man is powerful and effective in NIV it says and in KJV it says availeth much means it keeps on uh, fetching blessings the prayers of a righteous man availeth much means uh, it's not just healing and everything I like that King, King James Version uh, uh, way in which the prayers of a righteous availeth much. So uh, it's it's very important that you know one short one a righteous man steps in your house and prays, a lot of blessings come over your life. These days pastoral visits are not much possible. I, I'm a city pastor. Many times we cannot go to people's house because of the traffic and all those things. But I feel people of God should go everywhere, here and there, whatever be the problems, and, and, and speak blessings to one another. And that's why fellowship meetings are very important. When you go to your fellowship meetings, there's a corporate anointing of the Holy Spirit and it will hit you and uh, you will have a beautiful uh, healing, healing presence of the Almighty God in your life. So these are just tips. But I'm not telling that, you know, there will be no sickness in the world. There will be no troubles in the world. Well, that will happen only in heaven. That will happen only in heaven. Uh, that, that's why now when some people are coming, putting heaven on earth, it seems. Heaven cannot come on earth. There is a new... Heavens and earth are two different entities. Bringing heaven to earth is impossible. If somebody comes to your... Uh, uh, you know, telling... We are bringing heavens down to earth. Tell them, come on. This is earth. Heavens is a planet. There are three heavens. Well, I will take the study on heaven sometime later. Uh, let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come means let your rule... Come to heaven or come to earth also. It's not that heavens will come down on earth. No, heavens are new heavens and new earth. Uh, till the end, it will be heavens will be heavens, earth will be earth. Now there will be a new heavens, new earth in eternity. And there will be no sickness. and, uh, and uh, But God has given us the liberty and, and the blessedness of enjoying. Prob uh, his word guarantees us that by his stripes we are healed. So like how we fight for our salvation, fight till the last moment for your healing. Now I told you many things uh, of, of how to have a healing uh, uh, environment in your home. So make sure that you do that. And above all, uh, it's prayers. Prayers. The pra uh, uh, prayer answering God is our topic. So prayers, uh, prayers offered in the name of Jesus because he is the mediator. Everything, whatever you say, Lord, in the name of Jesus I ask you this, you tell it. Many of them, you just keep praying and at the last you say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask all these things. Amen. <laughs> but as much as possible, every every request, say, Lord, in your name, I ask you. Because that, that shows the sincerity in prayer. Of course, all other prayers also God will answer. I'm not putting a new doctrine here. But whenever you pray for anything, uh, say, Lord, in your name, I come. I do not come on my own 
uh, merits i come based on your grace now answer my prayer and the lord will hear prayers of faith is very important person who is double minded in his heart will not receive anything from god faith uh what 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 is faith i told you faith cometh by hearing and hearing god's word if you are having less word of god in your life uh faith cannot be produced you cannot pray powerful prayers so keep yourself near to the word of god and that's why periscope and facebook live and all are very important you can hear the word of god again and again and faith will be produced and uh, amen and you will have a wonderful 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 uh you know lifestyle of 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 prayers that are heard by the almighty god so at the third important thing is prayers of a righteous man availeth much ah, hallelujah it availeth much so confess your sins among one another declare your faults to one another uh, remove the sacred portion that belongs to god give him your best give him uh, the the best of your i i of my life and thus far i am not telling that you know we are perfect but i i owe it all to many blessed men of god who 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 have prayed much for us and that doesn't keep me shirking telling that they prayed and i should not pray no but those prayers make me more responsible to pray for many of other people around and 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 i still feel that i am inadequate in my prayer life and that conviction sometimes is very good we should keep pressing on in our press the accelerator accelerator pedal of your prayer life all right this this night i want to tell you press the accelerator pedal of your prayer life so that there will be momentum and we will go to places we will go to you know there's a uh, it's it's an evil world the devil is 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 going like a is is going home to home destroying lives destroying children our prayers have to have to travel much faster than that why because only in response of our prayer will god send his word only in response of our prayer will god send his word and the bible says god sent his word and saved them from all their destructions hallelujah so uh, he 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 uh, look at psalm 147:15 he sends his command to the earth his word runs swiftly more powerfully than sin travels we need to make sure that our prayers reach the throne of god and his command runs swiftly his he sends his command to the earth his word runs swiftly he spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes he hurls down his hail like pebbles who can withstand his icy blast he sends his word and melts them he stirs up his breezes and the waters flow he has revealed his word to jacob his laws and decrees to israel that word last words of psalm 147 is very powerful he has done this for no other nation they do not know his laws praise the lord hallelujah he has not dealt with any other people group like his people and how privileged are we so this night wherever you are just lift your hands let's pray together hallelujah we will have one more uh, to, uh, prayer answering god series and then we will stop the series but i hope you are blessed hallelujah do you have any prayer requests just put it up i want to pray for you anybody who is watching online if there is any any prayer request you want me to pray for we will pray together hallelujah any any prayer request just 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 put it in the chat window and we will pray together and the, i believe the lord will send his command to the earth because his word runs swiftly hope all is well with you that's good that's really wonderful so let's pray that god's hand will be upon you precious lord i pray that every sicknesses will be healed in your name lord i pray for shraddha's family and their salvation that they will accept the lord jesus in the name of jesus in the most blessed name of jesus we pray with faith that you will do something your your word says your 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 household you and your household will be saved that's your promise of god we keep that promise in the name of jesus and we and we 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 pray that her family will be saved very soon quickly haste in your work haste in your work oh god send your word and 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 save your people everybody's household will be saved they will come to the complete knowledge of god's word in the mighty mighty name of jesus every sickness in uh, i pray that will be healed in your sweet and mighty name in your mighty 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 name every 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 depression will leave your people every oppressing spirit will leave your people 
that the peace of God that passeth all understanding keep their hearts and minds this night in Christ Jesus. Our hearts will not waver, our minds will not waver, but we will put our trust in you. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. This night, command your angels to take charge over us. We ask in your name with faith that you will raise the sick, you will save the sick, and we will see a great breakthrough. We pray for revival in our land. I pray that every household will come under the covering of grace, that Jesus will, will, will go into every home and, and, and manifest his presence in every house this night. Hallelujah. Let's send your command swiftly, O oh God. Prepare us for your coming. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your grace. Pray for your blessing upon everybody who is hearing this and watching this. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Wonderful to uh, spend some time with you. Uh, well, just thought to have some time with you and I hope it was a blessing for you. Make sure that you, that we all uh, will not forget